Hey, good morning, Saints. So, Sister with a testimony. I thought I'd give you an update on the bulldozed tree. And this is the bulldozed tree in the summertime. As you can see, the root ball, it's uh, definitely laying on its side. All of those roots have been ripped up except the one on this side over here. You can't see it. But it comes out of the side and it goes down and it's you know still in the ground and that's what gives it its uh, nutrients and sustenance and uh, it's kind of cool because I actually have some new growth on the tree uh, Jim pretty much cut everything off and um, cleaned it up it looks great and that cool and the, you got the huge this this big one coming out right here and that beautiful guys how you can literally be bulldozed by the enemy um, and still still survive that's that's God this little branch right here it um, it got cut off somehow and all the storms you can see uh, the top where it was just ripped off and I come out about a month ago and it was sprouting isn't that awesome and then um, I find I also see this little guy right here he says I'm gonna try so the tree um, the tree is healthy I know it sounds crazy guys but check that out how the roots have just been ripped up I'm not gonna walk through there um, the other day I seen a varmint um, crawling around hunting so I'm not gonna get into all that but right there is the main root um, I just wanted to share with you today how you can have one tree, this one that is so alive, just absolutely amazing, and oh, thank you Jesus, I got over the tree, and then you've got another tree over here in the yard that is, huh, well, I don't know you figure it out it's summertime there's no leaves on it it's a beautiful thing at one point um, when we bought the property a year and a half ago this tree was alive and then um, I noticed again about a month ago I come out here and I'm like I finally figured out this tree uh, was in trouble so I checked it out and Sure enough, look at that. I said, uh, that's not good. And I've prayed and asked the Lord to let this tree live. And it was kind of like, well, do not resurrect dead things. So I guess I got out of that is when it's dead and has been dead for a long, long time its time is up so I got to thinking Saints and uh, you know you got this seriously diseased tree and then you got the other one laying on its side over there and it's thriving and I prayed about this and I asked the Lord what's the difference between this tree that was standing up in all of its majesty and that is a big tree of, of mature tree and this tree over here that has been bulldozed laying on its side what's the difference Lord well the power of life and death is in the tongue saints and them that love it will eat the fruit thereof this tree was spoken over and marked for death just like the tree that was standing there and the tree that was standing there and the tree that was standing there and the tree that was over there so what had happened the guy that bought the property if you can see the fence out there that's our gate right out there you can see the center of the gate right there so if you notice you come on in here and this tree that was there would have been in the way this tree that 
decided to take the death threat seriously is, well, it's dead. These trees had been cut down. There was a hole there in the ground, uh, two, three, there's like four holes. Uh, the tree that's on its side, it heard the same death threat, saints. I mean, it seriously heard the same death threat. When the guy came in the gate, he said, we're going to take all these trees out, and that's where we're going to put the driveway. So this tree right here was right in the, like, smack dab in the middle of it. And, uh, you know, everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. This tree is alive. The Lord created it, and it heard the death threat, and it received the death threat as the final word. Um, <laughs> the tree on its side heard exactly the same death threat, saints. It is thriving, okay? So, when the enemy comes like a flood, he's going to lie, he's going to steal, he's going to kill, he's going to destroy. You have the option of receiving the word or rejecting the word. Hey, this tree, you know, it doesn't think it's a tree, hello, but I can guarantee you it can hear the voice of life and death. There's power in your spoken word, saints. There's power. The power of life and death are in your tongue. And whatever you love to speak, that is what you're going to receive. Whether it's life and life more abundantly like this beautiful, amazing tree that's on its side that was bulldozed and its roots ripped up. It said, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to receive that death threat. I don't have to die. I still have a tap root. Now think about it, saints. I know trees don't think. But I can guarantee you they can hear life or death. And the Creator, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob created that tree. Every single one of these trees. He knows when they were saplings. He can see when they were saplings. He can see their day of death and their day that they did not change seasons. Seriously, saints. This tree, although bulldozed and roots ripped up, great, great trauma and tragedy and death. But it said, you know what? I choose life. This tree heard the death threat. And for whatever reason, only the Lord knows, it's diseased. even got a spider web right there beside of it it's diseased and it's dead the power company's coming to cut it down so there you go saints you can either receive the death threat and just roll over and die you can even stand up and receive the death threat it's still gonna get you or you can be like this bulldoze tree with the trauma, with the attempt at murder. Mm hmm. Yeah. They knocked it over with the intent to kill it. And the Lord said, Nope. Let me show you what I can do. Okay? Man meant to kill this tree. Not only is it thriving, saints, not only is it thriving, but it actually has life coming from where even death had occurred, or so it seemed, to this branch. New growth, and the cool part is,
new life springing forth. I don't know about y'all, but that's pretty cool. Look at those roots. I mean, if you see, and I, you can see it on the other video, the roots are completely ripped up, shredded. But again, there's one right there on the side. And uh, wow, isn't that cool? I know not everybody has a tree that's been bulldozed and knocked over in their yard and has a miracle in their front yard, but hey, the Lord knew that Jim and I would show mercy and allow His will to be done. Glory to God, saints. I love you. God bless you. I just want to leave you with this simple statement from the Word of God. The power of life and death is in the tongue, and them that love it eat the fruit thereof. You can either accept the empty death threat, or you can reject the empty death threat. This tree did not listen to the empty death threat of the owner of this property when he said, cut all those trees down, I'm building a road right through them. And this tree is alive. This tree heard the same threat, took it to heart, and it shriveled up and died. I fight with the Word of God. My fighting is on my knees before the Lord, humbly prostrate before Him, just like this tree, on my knees, on my face, crying out to the Lord. There you have it, saints. You can stand up and be proud and never call upon the name of the Lord and die. Only you're not just going to die physically, but you'll die spiritually. Or you can humble yourself and fall down on your face and repent and say, Lord, I'm going to die, but I don't want to die without you. And saints, you will thrive because you'll be planted in the house of the Lord. And even if you do get bulldozed, even if you do suffer trauma, even if you can't get back up, haha, <laughs> you will be a miracle because you believe in the Lord, you've been saved, and you have been born again, and you say, I'm going to live, and I'm going to declare the work of the Lord. You will say out of your mouth, I will live I will not die, and I will declare the work of the Lord. This tree lives for the Lord and declares His majesty, saints, because there's no forester, no forestry agent, no person with a green thumb, nobody with a can of fertilizer or a bag of fertilizer or spray or anything else could cause this to happen except its creator to God be the glory to God be the glory to God be the glory for the things he has done my beautiful beautiful humble tree to God be the glory I love you saints bless you I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach over you to hide, protect, and keep you. May you thrive and be alive no matter what happens. In Jesus' name, amen.